623, if you are interested in learning more about UFOs and aliens, today there's an event in the Denver Tech Center you might want to check out. The 41st Annual International UFO Symposium starts today. Well, it's a gathering of top speakers and topics like UFO abductions, crop circles, and aliens, and those are things that, you know, people have different reactions to and even mention them. Joining us this morning, Ruben Uriarte, who, I hope I had that right. Oh, perfect. Pretty Thank good. You. Okay, with the uh, Mutual UFO Network. Now, there are always skeptics. I call myself a skeptic, right, when it comes to this topic. You guys say you approach this from a scientific perspective. Explain that. Tell us about that. Well, basically, um, our organization is geared toward the scientific investigation of this phenomenon. Uh, we have experts from all different types of fields that will come at this at our symposium and will share their research with us. And also, uh, we, we have our investigators from all over the country and also throughout the world that will be joining us and will be sharing all this data. We had about 6,429 reports that, were, uh, that went through a database last year. And out of that, uh, there were more, close to 1,000 were reported by other countries. What we look at is the types of information, who's, who's, uh, um, who are the witnesses, uh, also the, the types of, of objects that, were, that are seen, because we have 23 different categories. But out of those 6,429 reports, it was approximately over 10,000 different descriptions of the objects. Wow, okay. and, and some of these experts are photo and video experts who, who can analyze. There are, must be so many that come in, and everyone has a story, as we were saying earlier. So how do you tell what's real and what's not? Well, th that's always a challenge because uh, t with today's technology, with Photoshop and uh, people having access to the computer, we need to rely on some top experts that are, that, that are in that field and what's really, really great is that we have uh, people from uh, Lawrence Livermore Laboratory, for example. We have retirees. We have people from NASA. We have people from FAA. Uh, and we have a number of people from, from other scientific backgrounds. But most important, I think uh, the question is, uh, we probably all know somebody who's had an experience, someone in our family, someone. And, and that's where it starts, because that's where the story generates and or the experience. and then. Finally, it may reach us because we do have a website and they can contact us. And then from there, it's our investigators that will follow through on that. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Thanks for coming in with us morning. All right. Thank you. It. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Good luck with the conference and the International UFO Symposium runs through Sunday at the Marriott Denver Tech Center. For more info, head to the links and info 